and today we're going to read one of the most beautiful book ever written. It's called Blue Flower by Sonia Hartnett and Gabriel Evans. Tell you guys, it's one of the most beautiful book ever and I'm so excited to read it to you guys. Are you ready? I am. Not all cats are tabby, not all trees are tall, not all clouds are white, and not all flowers are yellow. A beautiful and inspiring story from award-winning writer Sonia Hartnett about the discovery that being different can be something wonderful. Let's do this guys. Flower by Sonia Hartnett and Gabriel Evans. Let's do this. For dear day, S H for A, my blue flower, G A. Okay, guys, let's do this. Blue flower by Sonia Hartnett and Gabriel Evans. I wake up in the morning and I don't want to go to school. It's morning time and it's cool day and I don't want to go to school. Other kids like school or at least don't mind it much but I never want to go to school. At school you're supposed to have lots of friends but I'm shy about making friends. That's me. I know. I don't have any friends and I don't like school. At school you run and jump and climb, but I'm not good at that. At school you learn to do things, but I worry I'll go wrong. Sometimes our teacher tells us something and I don't know what, it, what she means. What is she talking about? I don't understand. That's me during school. I'm not chatty or fast or funny. I'm not bossy or loud or wild. Sometimes I think that even though I try my best, everyone is better than me. Everyone is better than me. Just they have their own nature, they have each other, but I am not like any of them. I feel like I'm just different. Everyone is better than me. At lunch I sit where mom would see me if drove if she drove by in the car. Take me home, I tell her. Sure, she'd say. Jump in! <laughs> but that has never happened. Mom has never driven by. No matter how long I sit there, no matter how much I wish that. That's my favorite spot. Some mornings I ask, Mom, can I stay home? You need to go to school, she says. You're not sick, so off you go. I wouldn't care if I was sick, if it meant I could stay home. I'd lie in bed all day with my cat Piccolo. Everything would be peaceful, but I am never sick. I am never sick! I'm never sick. So I make the best of it. The tuck shop smells like donuts, which is very nice. We have art once a week and I love doing art. <laughs> when I draw pictures, everyone gathers around. <laughs> Sometimes I know an answer when I put my, my head. My heart thumbs hard and I feel glowing and bright. But mostly I keep my hand down, just in case I'm wrong. When other kids get an answer wrong, they don't seem to be bothered. If they have a problem, they ask our teacher for help. I wish I was brave like that. My friends amaze me. Tonight, I felt like crying. I couldn't do a 
my homework. Don't make me go to school tomorrow, Mom, I said. Mom smiled. You want to stay home every day. I wish I could, I said. If it was just you and me and Piccolo, it wouldn't matter and I can't run fast or make people laugh. Why do you need to run fast? Mom asked. Other kids can, I said. Why do you want to make people laugh? Everyone likes laughing, I said. Mom was making our favorite macaroni and cheese. She said, being different isn't easy until you decide it's a good thing to be. Is that right? And just different? Just different. Just something as wonderful as that. Wonderful? I scoffed. I'm not wonderful. Who says so? I felt even more like crying then. I closed my books and went outside. Piccolo was there, looking at clouds. Mom says I'm different, I told him. Piccolo said, <laughs> which means he wants a bear. <laughs> the birds were red and purple and some were plain brown. Don't catch a bird, I told him. They're allowed to be here. We watched the birds fly through the trees, all singing their own songs. Some trees were tall and skinny, and others were low and wide. Some looking on side cars, I noticed this. I watched birds fly, you know, singing their own songs. Different songs. Some trees were tall, some were skinny, some were low, some were wide. Yellow flowers were everywhere, but blue ones were growing too. I lay down and stared at the sky and thought for a while. Not all clouds are white. Piccolo looked at me. Not all cats are tabby. Some are black, some are orange, some are comical. I brought a flower and showed it to him. This flower isn't yellow. But that's good, isn't it? No one wants everything to be the same. Things being different is what makes the world wonderful. flower and thought about the times. I told myself I was slow and silly and not wonderful at all. Remembering made my heart beat like the saddest drum. I felt I should say sorry, which was a strange thing to feel. So I whispered it to myself. And then I said it out loud. After a while, Piccolo said, uk, uk. <laughs> So I picked him up. We can't stay out here forever, I told him. I had homework to finish and macaroni to eat and school again in the morning. Piccolo purred and rubbed his face on mine. I felt happy. I felt like me. Blue flower by Sonia Hartnett and Gabriel Evans. Well, sometime, sometime being different can be something wonderful. Lovely story about acceptance, accepting yourself, and just realizing that you are beautiful. Just like a flower, a blue flower, you are beautiful just the way you are.
don't have to change, you don't have to be slow, you don't have to be loud, you don't have to be tall, you don't have to be perfect, you don't have to be anything, you just have to be you. Not all cats are tabby, not all trees are tall, not all clouds are white, and not all flowers are yellow.